one last thing I want to talk about symmetry is um, when they put it in the coordinate plane, you might need a refresher on your algebra. First of all, how they might ask this is if a figure is symmetric with respect to Okay, and so that's another way they could ask this, this that students would get confused by. So, symmetric with respect to the line y equals x, for example. Okay. Alright, let's do one of these together. First of all, uh, we'll need to review some stuff from algebra. Um, when we have a linear equation, y equals mx plus b is the most common way that might be given, where m is my slope. and b is my y-intercept. Now, depending on who your teacher was, I know that a uh, Mountain View teacher we used to have would teach Hoy and Vux, Hoy and Vux, for the special, um, the special cases. H is horizontal and has a zero slope with a y equals equation and v stands for vertical lines that have an undefined slope and an x equals y. So I'll show you what I mean as I kind of go through these. One way to do these types of problems would be to just work backwards in the event that it's um, giving you choices. Okay, And you can do that with your graphing calculator if you're really struggling with the algebra. So I want to show you first how my graphing calculator can be of help. When it's in y equals form, there's a button. So if I want to graph this first one, okay, y equals. Now first of all, if I can remember what I know about equations, this is the line where y equals m, the number in front of x is 1, so it has a positive slope of 1, and it's plus nothing, so my y-intercept is 0. So I know this is going to go through the origin, and it's going to have a slope of 1 over 1. And I could draw that line. But I can also come to my y equals button on my calculator, and it was y equals x, so then I'm just going to enter x. This is y equals, and I'm just going to do one at a time. I don't want to confuse myself. And I hit graph. The problem with these graphs is they're a little deformed because they're stretched out. This is a rectangular um, screen here so it kind of stretches your graph out. So because there's no grid here I would go into the table to look at some points. Second table. Oh there's the points I graph. 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. I mean any of these. 2, 2. Okay I can go up to look at some of the negative ones. Negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2. Anyway at this point I have my line there. So I should have probably done that with pencil. So, is that a line of symmetry? Is that describing a line of symmetry? Or is it symmetric with respect to this line? No, if I were to fold, the shape is not going to, it's going to land down here. No way. Nope. Okay, so I'm working backwards and I've just eliminated choice A. Now, when I get to choice B here, oh no, it's x equals. So hopefully what I notice is that this is going to be one of my special cases, okay? Because there's only one variable, x equals. Now, x equals happens to be the only one that I really cannot put on my calculator, but here's what I can put, y equals. So some students do know how to change their calculator into x equals. To me, it's more work than it's worth. x equals, you know, one of these is going to be like this, and one of these is going to be like this. So I just have to remember which is which. So I'm going to enter y equals 2. And I'm going to graph that. Oh, okay. So what I know right now is that the y equals 2 would be a horizontal line. So my x equals 2 will be a vertical line. So let's look at the vertical line where x is 2. For example, right here is the point 2, 0. Here's 2, 2. Here's 2, negative 1. So is that a line of symmetry? It is not even cutting through the shape. Okay, so I'm going to go with that's a negative. And I've already decided x equals this vertical line, so let's look at that one. <coughs> negative 1, 
and it's vertical and I'm really liking this answer right here. Okay, if I look in there, yeah, I've got two left, two to the right. Yep, that's going to line up nice and pretty. I can use my tracing paper if I want to be sure. But I do think that this is my answer. Now, y equals 1 is actually really close to the line we graphed here, right? Wasn't it? That was y equals 2. So, y equals 1 is a horizontal line. I want to look at all my answer choices. Nope, that's too high. A positive 1, that's too high. So, I'm sticking with answer choice C.